Did you know that Dizian did hair care? I didn't, but the hair is fabric hydration support and hair is fabric volume support our review today have been around for a long time. The thought behind these products is that hair should be treated like a delicate fabric and washed with a cleaning product respecting its nature. And you will find a nod to that when looking at the packaging, the feature symbols you will usually know from your laundry detergent or clothing tax. But how did this special hair cleanser work on my fine and bleached strands? Is it worth your money? Let's talk. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well-aging. In one simple step, HIF professionally cleans the hair and scalp without removing natural oils. The unique fractionated cleansing particles bind only to dirt and leaves the hair fabric alone. This allows for all impurities to be fully removed and rinsed away without stripping or damaging the hair. In short, they were similar to the no-poo products that were all of rage a while ago, or maybe they still are, Meaning you don't use a shampoo with traditional shampoo ingredients, but a so-called co-washing conditioner that is supposed to do it all, cleanse and condition. I was never a fan of this concept as it didn't work for my fine hair and I really don't believe in the tale that your hair needs to be trained to be adapted to this, but for the sake of a good review I was willing to give it another go. Volume support is firmer than your regular shampoo and feels like a cream, so more like a conditioner, while hydration support looks more like a shampoo, but both don't lather up and create only minimal foam. On the DCM website, many people complained about the overwhelming scent, but while volume support has a slightly stronger floral note that I can smell in my hair for a while, I didn't find it overpowering or found it to interfere with my perfume. I'm not going to dwell on the ingredients for long, as hair care is not my strong suit, but you can see both do use gentle surfactants and Cranby Abyssinica seed oil, which allegedly gives the hair the silicone slip. After using them for several weeks now, I can confirm now that the concept of cleansing conditioners is not for people with my hair type. For background, I do wash my hair every other day, shampoo the roots, put conditioner in the ends, and add leave-in products to the lengths before styling. Both products made my hair feel very soft and easy to comb through and got rid of oiliness around the roots, but after using hydration support I noticed my hair being weighed down at the crown with a tendency to get oily within 24 hours, while my ends were still frizzy and would have needed additional conditioning. With the volume support my hair felt less weighed down, had more grip to it and stayed that way for 48 hours, but my ends were again in need of extra love and care. If I tried using any of them repeatedly there was a buildup in my hair, so every other wash with volume support was the only way I could make it work. Hydration support did not work for me at all and is probably better for those with dry and thick hair than for those with similar fine strands like mine. Overall, I can say I'm much more of a fan of DCM skincare and understand why from the originally six products available in this line, only two are still left. If there is anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.